It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Believe me when I say we have a dope time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here without fear because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies behind me. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here! No fear, no fear, no fear here on Declare Your Independence with me, Ernest Hancock here in Phoenix, Arizona from the beautiful studios of Freedoms of the Nest, freedomsphoenix.com at the farm. We're going to get right to it. I only got one segment with my new best friend, Francis Boyle. He's going to help us out here because we need to understand what's going on in Libya. Now, he is a professor of international law at the University of Illinois College of Law in Champaign, and he's author of tackling america's toughest questions i want to know what the question uh, that's going to be tackled um, on this war thing now francis i need to understand what's going on we have a deadline coming up the war powers act is going to expo- expire you have uh congress now kucinich and friends have filed uh court documents i guess they're they're saying hey what they're what he's doing is illegal to begin with, and certainly when the deadline comes, he's going to have to get congressional approval. It looks like the House passed something saying we're not funding it, but that doesn't mean anything. They'll do whatever they want to do anyway. So I need to give me in a very quick, because we got you for limited time, an understanding of what's going on and what options are available. Well, thank you for having me on, my best to your listening audience. Uh, right, we're headed uh, for a constitutional confrontation, I think, uh, next week. Congressman Boehner uh, gave what we lawyers call a date certain to uh, President Obama as of uh, Sunday. Uh, Late yesterday, uh, Obama sent a report to Congress, which this morning, Congressman Boehner, the Speaker of the House, said did not pass the straight face test, which means, you know, without breaking out laughing. Uh, I've read the report. I think Congressman Boehner is correct. Uh, this report is a joke and a fraud by President Obama. Uh, it has at best one paragraph in there headed legal justification, but the, says nothing at all. Uh, so it, it's really, uh, I think, an insult to Congress. Um, and my well, what's, guess it, what's is, his claim? What's his claim? He says, no, I can do what I want. I mean, he has to say something. His claim is that basically... Uh, we are uh, not at war with Libya, which is a joke. Well, what um, are we? We're engaged in hostilities, and the War Powers Resolution and the War Powers Clause clearly get triggered uh, by hostilities. So um, my guess, you know, if you've been following the way this has played out, uh, Congressman Boehner, fr- from the very beginning, has been sending some pretty strong messages to... Uh, President Obama, and it appears Obama's decided to tough it out and uh, put the ball back in the court of Congressman Boehner, Boehner and the members of Congress. Um, and then they'll so, go golfing. I mean, this is what's going to happen is going to happen. I just need to understand what role they're this 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 dance that they do to think that Boehner is going to come out against a military industrial complex and you know the new world empire we rule you people is to be laughable. I just, I, I just want to know from your perspective how you think this is going to play hey, out. Ernie, where are you? Well, I, you know, I can't say how it's going to play out. Clearly, the war against Ernie. Libya is uh, uh, unconstitutional. Uh, it violates the War Powers Clause of the Constitution, the War Powers Resolution. As pointed out in the lawsuit filed yesterday by uh, Kucinich and the other members of Congress, uh, it violates the provision of the Constitution 
requiring congressional uh, appropriations. Boehner asked uh, Obama to explain that, too. He didn't bother. And it also violates the uh, Anti-Deficiency Act, which is a felony. So clearly um, there are impeachable offenses being committed here by, uh, by President Obama. And I guess we'll have to see if next week uh, any member of Congress, especially any of the Republicans, are prepared to put in a bill of impeachment. Okay, so now we're looking at an opportunity to make sure that we, that we have um, an understanding by the American people of what's going to be taking place two weeks from now. Next I would week. say next week for sure. I, what? I think uh, they're going to stop. They're pulling I, them off. No, I, the I think Boehner will do something next week. I, I can't say what he will do. He might put in a resolution to cut off the funding. Like, um, well, what was the vote that they had this week? Well, that you know, they were going to do that, and then he sort of um, uh, uh, sidetracked that by uh, giving uh, uh, Obama time to file a report which Obama filed yesterday and basically stiffed and insulted the Congress. And then they're going golfing. You know, this is, I, I don't, do you really, honestly, I mean, looking at your bio, we've uh, had you um, uh, on the show before. I've uh, produced for Charles Goyetta. I remember we had you on then. I know that you're involved in uh, a lot of understanding war and who's involved and who's at fault and who's responsible. And through all the years of this last decade, heck, two decades, three decades, heck, since my whole life, when have we ever had a pullback of the empire? When does that I mean? It, it, they always do this kind of dance on the Potomac that eventually winds up with more money, more death, more expansion. I, 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 at what point does this stop? I mean, seriously, do you think it's a, a legal action? It's a you know, it's this dance that goes on in cable television. I mean, what is going to be the end result? When does this stop? It stops when you and I and the listening audience say it's supposed to stop. I've already volunteered my services free of charge to any member of Congress who wants to put in a bill of impeachment against President Obama. So you, the listening audience, you contact your uh, member of the U.S. House of Representatives and tell him or her that you want Obama impeached and Boyle will serve as counsel free of charge. So if people want something to do, that's something for them to start to do, sure. But All if right. we don't stop it, no one else is going to stop it. That, that's what this, this democracy is all about. That's, that's how we were founded. I, I'm, I, who, I, if we're counting on the system, this voting, this, uh, I mean, because we, okay, we went through this before, with the Ron Paul love illusion four years ago, it was made perfectly clear that the generation next does not want to inherit another generation of continuous and debt-ridden war. And I'm, 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 I, I, you, you give me a solution. You know, is it, is it the voting thing? They, they tried that. Is it the uh, legal thing? I'm, I'm, you know, they were going through that again. Is it? I mean, it has to go to the streets. I, I'm I'm looking from someone. Well, I think it's I think it's two things. One, uh, yes, uh, you know, people need to get off their cans and inundate their members of Congress with a demand for a bill of impeachment against Obama. That'll get his attention. The okay, now here we Republicans, go. Republicans uh, uh, control the House, and as for uh, taking to the streets, right? Well, that's the way my generation ended the Vietnam War. Uh, so those are the precedents we have. You know, one thing there, there's a, I want to encourage people to look up this movie. It's called Sir, No, Sir. And it's about how the soldiers just stop fighting it. You know, that's why they had to go in the, you know, the aerial bombardment and Nixon administration, because nobody'd fight it. Get an officer come in. We got to go into the bush. And they go, bang, you're dead. No, we're not. You know, it's whether you advocate for this kind of stuff or not. It's predictable, predictable. Thank you very much. Francis Boyle, he's the professor of international law at the University of Illinois College of Law, author of Tackling America's Toughest Questions. As this goes to, if you get someone that takes you up on your offer to help them with impeachment proceedings, we'll make sure that we get a hold of you and you'll please come back and tell us all about it. Will you, Francis? 
Well, why don't you go out there and get that member of Congress for me? 